Hi everyone. Well, here we are again back in lockdown. I know some of you will be uh, feeling very frustrated, probably sometimes getting angry. Um, as, as time goes on and if lockdown is extended, it is going to cause some hardship. So uh, I know that sometimes you'll hear uh, people saying, well, we know it could be worse off, we could be like Sydney, we could be uh, in, in a lot more trouble than we are. But at the end of the day, uh, we're used to our freedoms here in Queensland. Uh, and, and to date, we've done an excellent job in dealing uh, with the pandemic. And we still are, to, to be honest. I, I think we need to congratulate uh, our state in the way in which we've um, managed to work through the, the difficult times that we've had in the last 18 months. We also need to know that we're closer to the end now, and even though that we are in the middle of a lockdown, it's important to know that as more vaccines uh, come on board and, and we uh, get um, people vaccinated, then we will be out of this uh, by next year. So uh, it's important for us to, to see that we're uh, getting close to the end of, of the, the most difficult times that we've had, but there is uh, some difficult times still to negotiate ahead of us. But look, the important thing is um, if your children are, are feeling anxious or, or upset or, or caged in and, and getting upset, look, uh, don't say that they shouldn't be feeling like that, they should, or they should be thankful that they're not in another country and things like that. It's really important just to acknowledge that it's okay to feel like that and, and to feel upset and to feel angry and, and for kids and yourselves to uh, express uh, how you're feeling and talk about what's making you feel like that. And then maybe start thinking about things that you might do post uh, lockdown or, or next year when there's a bit more freedom to, to move around and we have more people vaccinated. So just think about those sorts of things in your conversations at home. In terms of the school, uh, as you're aware, we have the home learning packs already out. I did ask teachers this time to have a little bit less in those packs for you to do, because I think it's important that you uh, are able to manage your time at home between spending time with your kids and, and as a family uh, and dealing with some of the issues that you might be having uh, at this particular time, particularly if you can't go to work or you're losing income and those sorts of things. It's, it's very difficult for you to do that as well as manage uh, heaps of stuff to do in the home learning packs. So if for some reason you, you can't get it all done, look, don't stress over that. If we go back to the basics, like we said last year, the most important thing at this time, do some reading with the kids. Uh, ask them how they're feeling and have a routine. I think if, if we look at those those three things to start with, that's probably enough in the initial stages and we hope that the lockdown won't go for very long. If the lockdown is extended uh, next week, um, then we're already prepared for that. The learning materials that are up on the websites uh, have enough for two weeks. So just in case uh, there was an extension, we asked the teachers to prepare enough for the, the two weeks and that's already up there for you to have a look at. So you can plan, plan ahead. One of the important things that, that in times where there's lockdowns and things like that is uncertainty and not knowing uh, what's happening next. So what I tend to do, and, and, and there may be lots of strategies out there, but this is just what I do. I tend to plan for the worst, uh, but obviously uh, be optimistic and hopeful for the best. So worst case scenario, the pandemic um, lockdown might continue next week, uh, but if it does, as a school, we're prepared for that. You know, the teachers are ready for that. They've prepared the resources for that. And if you need any help or support, can you please email either myself, principal at uh, Talawong State School, and you'll be able to get that email through to me. You can ask questions on Facebook if you like. You can still call us, we're still here during the day. What's really important though, is this time, is to make sure that we follow all of the advice coming from the health department because the Delta strain of this uh, COVID virus is particularly bad. And if you've looked at the numbers and I think there was um, 17 new cases uh, overnight, uh, that you'll find that unlike last year, this year there are a lot more um, children acquiring the virus. So it's spreading across the community uh, rather than just uh, amongst the adults. So we need to be extra careful and that's why at school now we have very few staff 
we only have just enough staff to uh, supervise the students who are coming to school and are the children of the essential workers. So uh, that has been particularly good, uh, which means that there are less people moving around the community and we have fewer students at school and so I can have less adults at school as well. But um, look, I want to thank you for cooperation. Uh, keep um, checking Facebook for updates. If there's anything at all that you need, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, even if you're struggling to get advice on a range of things, maybe we can help out and, and point you in the right direction or obtain some information for you. But number one thing, take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Don't be down on yourself if you're feeling upset or angry. It's okay to feel like that because these sorts of things are, are quite challenging for us to negotiate. But um, I want to thank you as a community for uh, the way that you're cooperating, not just with the school, but also I can see that our parents and families are really listening to the health advice and, you know, uh, making sure that you're you're wearing a mask uh, and um, and for social distancing and staying at home. That's the best thing that we can do at the moment. So stay safe and I will send out another message on Friday. Thank you.